Hey, this is Terry, and today we're going to talk about our MIDI I.O. It's a simple, rock-solid solution to get MIDI in and out of up to four Maris pedals. Uh, for those of you who've never used MIDI before, don't worry, we're going to make this simple and straightforward. The cool thing about the MIDI I.O. is that it opens up possibilities of remote control and saving presets offline and doing other things. First, plug your Maris pedal into port one of the MIDI I.O. with the included TRS cable. Here we have a pre-wired pedal board with a Mercury 7 connected to the MIDI I.O. already. We're going to set the Mercury 7's global to accept MIDI. Power it up, holding Alt, three LED flashes will happen. Then the right lowermost knob, turn it all the way to the right to select MIDI as a function for the EXP jack. Then what we want to do is set the MIDI channel. We're going to set it to MIDI channel 1 in this case. Every pedal connected to the MIDI I.O. should probably be set to a different MIDI channel so the MIDI messages don't conflict. Let's reset the power to save all those settings. Okay, so now let's try using a MIDI controller with our MIDI I.O. Hook up MIDI cable to the MIDI controller's MIDI out jack. Power it on. Plug that same MIDI cable into the MIDI input of our MIDI I.O. MIDI I.O. is already connected to the Mercury 7. We can see that the MIDI controller is set up with some preset settings here. We can enable patch 1, patch 2, or bypass the unit. Let's do that again with some guitar. Patch 2. Or bypass. Okay, another cool thing that you can do with the MIDI I.O. is hook it up to a MIDI Bluetooth adapter. Here we have one from Yamaha. And then you can control our pedals with your phone, actually. We're going to first use this little app called MIDI Mitter that lets you connect to the Bluetooth device. Once it's connected, you're all good to go with something called Touch OSC, which now our MIDI Bluetooth adapter shows up. And I already have a preloaded template that's going to let me control the Mercury 7 right from my phone. There, I'm turning the decay up. You can do full MIDI remote control, bypass, all knobs, all parameters. It's pretty handy. Sometimes the Bluetooth setup can be cumbersome at first, but once you get it all worked out, it's really nice. We also have on the back of the MIDI I.O. indicators for MIDI input and MIDI output. These are little LEDs that light up when data is present. You can see now that data is being input and output from the pedal. Now if I turn a knob from the pedal, you can see that it's only outputting data. These are handy when troubleshooting MIDI. Now I'm going to go to my desk and save some presets with a SysX utility. One nice thing you can do with the MIDI I.O. is save presets offline. You do this with MIDI SysX. On the Mac, we use SysX Librarian. On the PC, you can use something called SendSX. To do that, just hold Alt on your pedal and then press the Algorithm Select button. First push Record, then do that. Now you've got a preset on your computer. You can rename it. Let's see. Call this one plate. Now let's record another preset. Change some settings on the knobs first. Record that other preset. Call this one pitch up. Now if we click on these and play them, they'll send the preset back to your pedal. In this way, you can save unlimited numbers of presets offline. 